Hello, my name is Larry, and today we're going to demonstrate the traveling and towing procedures of the Placer Tampi Machine GRM 3000T. Before you travel, you want to perform a machine walk around. You want to ensure all buggies and work units are up and locked, travel position, and secured with safety chains. Also inspect for anything that could fall off during travel. Start and warm the engine and hydraulics, which we have already done. Turn the travel work switch to the travel position. Switch on the required lighting for the desired direction. Apply the service brake. Select a direction. Release the parking brake. The light in the parking brake push button will go out when the brake is released. Increase the engine RPMs to 2,000. The engine needs to be at 2,000 RPMs for the hydraulic pumps to work efficiently. Fully release the service brake. A light will illuminate on the speed control handle when all travel enables have been met. If not, you can go to the travel diagnostic screen to assist in troubleshooting. Slowly raise the speed handle until the machine moves. Lower the handle and perform a brake test with the service brake. Release the brake and resume travel. You control the speed of the machine with the speed control handle and the service brake. When travel is complete, stop the machine with the service brake. Set the parking brake. The light in the parking brake will illuminate when set. Return the engine to idle. Turn the travel work switch to off. Follow the shutdown procedures. If the need arises that the machine needs to be towed, certain precautions need to be taken. One, the drive axles must be in neutral. Two, go to the diagnostic travel screen. Touch the gears, submenu, then select the neutral button. If you have a GRM 2X trailer attached, its drive axles must also be in neutral. Three, the fail-safe brakes must be released also. Close the fail-safe brake release valve, which isolates the air exhaust valve from the brake cylinder. It is located on the exterior right side of the cab. If required, supply external air to the emergency port of the brake cylinders at the front or back of the machine, or you can leave the machine at idle if possible. The machine will be ready to be towed. Once the towing operation is complete, ensure the fail-safe brakes are set. If air supply for the brake release is not available, then you can manually cage the brake cylinder by tightening the bolt in the back of the brake cylinders. Thank you very much, and you can follow up with my next video on YouTube.